Good morning and welcome. Thank you for joining me here this morning at Carmel Mission Basilica. As you can see, I'm in our Mora Chapel. And uh, during the past week, we've been focusing on God's promises and how God is faithful to God's promises. Uh, the many ways that God meets our needs, known and unknown, and the faithfulness of that promise, that divine promise throughout the generations. And I wanted to share with you this morning an ancient prayer of our church, the Te Deum, Te Deum. I'm here beneath the painting depicting the first mass uh, of St. Junipero after he landed in the Bay of Monterey all those years ago on June 3rd, 1770 almost 250 years ago, in fact. And when he reached the shore, he immediately sang three hymns of praise to God. And one of those hymns is the Te Deum. It was written in 387 AD, and the authorship was traditionally ascribed to either St. Augustine or St. Ambrose. But in recent years, with the benefit of uh, scholarship, it's said that it's unlikely that either of these wonderful saints were the original authors of the Te Deum. It's a hymn of praise, thanksgiving, that has been part of our church's worship since its creation. It is in regular use in our Catholic Church, as well as in the Lutheran, Methodist, and Anglican communions. You hear in the background the Gregorian chant setting of this text. It has been set to music by countless composers over the years, notably Mozart, Verdi, Bruckner, and Britain, to name just a few. As we consider the many ways in which our God keeps his promises to us, let's take time to thank him and to praise him. You are God. We praise you. You are God. We acclaim you. You are the eternal Father. All creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the whole Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not spurn the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people bought with the price of your own blood and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Keep us today, Lord, from all sin. Have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and your mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. As always, I invite you to send your prayer requests to Father Rodrigo and myself. Just go to our mission website, carmelmission.org, and press the prayer request button. We will take those intentions of yours with our own daily prayers and masses. 
Thank you for joining us again. And I wish you and your loved ones a profound peace, a great happiness, and renewed hope.